been such a long time. A few months already. Yeah, I've been off my own personal channel for, I want to say, a few months. I needed some time away to rethink some thoughts in life. Being away from YouTube has just given me a big chance to rethink about a lot of things that's been happening in my life. I needed some time away from YouTube to tend to some personal things. I had some emotional things built up for a while um, while I was filming each day last year in 2014. And those things just kind of uh, built up. Filming and editing videos every single day in the year 2014. I kind of always felt like it was, you know, film, edit, or get ready, film, edit, upload, and then I repeated. So it was just the same type of material that I was giving out every single day. It really consumed my true creation of who I was. Um, I always felt like there had to be a video up. I did a challenge, but I always thought that every time I uploaded a video it was because I needed to and it's not that I wanted to, I needed to because that was a promise that I made in January of 2014. You know, it wasn't the type of material that I really thought was really worthy and as you could tell, um, being away from YouTube, it gave me some time to really think about who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. Um, in YouTube and away from YouTube in my own personal life. Sometimes I think that you just have to step back and really think about who you are and what you want to do. What you want to do in life, your long term, your short term, your goals, um, really important goals that you need to have in life just in general. Any type of material that I produced for you guys in edits, I'm doing it myself so I want to make sure that anything that I put up on my channel is genuine. God, I don't know how you say this, basically it's respectful, it's things that you guys want to see, things that I'm very proud of to film. I've always tried my best at my channel, I've tried to always be honest with myself, I've always tried to be genuine, um, I've always tried to be educational, I, I mean, I don't put things on my channel, I, I don't want to put things on my channel that I myself don't believe in and that I think highly of. So with that said, just because um, so far I have not been in front of the camera for the year 2015, it doesn't mean I actually have not been behind the camera. That doesn't really mean that I stopped with YouTube. Now there was a lot of projects that I wanted to create and I really wanted to put effort and focus on and that's what I did. In the last few months, I've been diligently working behind the scenes of my camera and I've been finding things that, basically researching things that will improve my channel for myself and for you guys to see. I wanted to use 2014 as a stepping stone in 2015 to make a better video qualities for you, have better content, and basically better editing. I want to make this channel pop and I want to make this channel enjoyable. Because I've been working behind the scenes of my channel, there's been quite a few improvements. Again, I, I haven't left YouTube. Um, I was, you know, in my downtime, I was commenting on people's videos. I was watching you guys, your guys' videos. A lot of my stuff you can see through Google Plus because I generally don't hide my comments. I've been enjoying everybody's channels and just been commenting and keeping in contact with you guys. There's, you know, if you've watched my channel towards the last six months of from June to December, you'll see that I mentioned about my channel being upgraded and being better in 2015 and that's what I did. I mean, I took a break from my channel personally to educate myself, to, to dig and to learn and to just make a better video each time I put out for you guys. So what have I done? What is new with my channel? If you haven't already seen, you'll see that there is new channel art. I have not ever put channel art on my uh, channel. I did the entire thing myself. Um, so there's a new banner, so you can go check out my new um, banner on my, uh, would be my homepage of my YouTube channel. And you could see the new channel art. I made an intro video. 
um, that is basically just an intro video to introduce me to my channel. It's a little bit different than my video that plays before each video now. If you've already watched this video, then you've already seen it. But um, in my channel trailer, trailer, channel trailer, channel trailer, <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, I have put a new um, about me and intro to introduction to my channel. Then in the last six months um, of last year, so a little bit longer, I've been basically thinking about how I want this room that I am in right now to look. So as you can see, you can see a new background um, right here. Um, I have a new lens, I have new lights, I have new audio, and I soon, over here, will have a new <laughs> computer. Um, so I'll be able to edit a lot better for you, but so by the time you get in this video and you're watching it, the video's already been edited on my new computer. Finally, with the technical situation is I've updated with a new lens for my camera, I have a new mic, I have new lights, I have new audio, I'll have a new computer. Basically, I've updated my entire technical system. I have a bigger viewfinder over there, which I may look at a few times, but just a completely new setup, so I have better quality for you guys. So, the good part, and this is probably the part you guys are waiting to hear. All of the videos I have planned and have thought of that I still need to film for you guys, which have just been behind the scenes as well, the first one is Panda Palette. Um, a lot of people are probably wondering where my Panda Palette is. Yes, I have decided that I have and was and am going to do Panda Palette. I've actually started on Panda Palette 2015 Lola Rack Palette and I started January 1st. I just didn't film it um, of me doing it because, well, I didn't want to film it. <laughs> Um, but um, I did take pictures of my progress from January and February and March will be in there somewhere depending on when this video gets put up. I'll put Marches up as well. Um, and then there's a slight twist on it as well and there's only a few people that may know about it but not a lot of people know of what that twist is so if you guys are interested in knowing what that is and seeing my progress of pan that palette then be sure you keep an eye out for that so instead of project pans I've done a few of those last year I decided to do project use it up and I got the idea from a few people here on YouTube and I was going through all of my makeup and doing a inventory of it all as well and I realized I had a lot of products that I was just not using and so I decided to do Project Use It Up. I started it back in January, so I do it quarterly updates. So February, January, February, March, um, it's the first update. And then, you know, going on further, those are gonna be the other updates that'll be done every three months. So um, I have not filmed anything, but I did do a complete inventory when I started so I know how many products I have and I have that video will be coming up too when I film it but be sure you keep an eye out for that one. I am also doing the complete beauty and product inventory. Um, when I originally done it in January uh, there was a lot of product and I looked at my products that I used in 2014 and I used a lot of makeup. Um, I have that video and it's called the time lapse beauty I think of 2014 it should be a video a few videos before this one but um, I looked at how much product I used and I still couldn't believe it didn't make a dent out of my makeup collection and I've done some purging and I've you know cleaned up my makeup collection and I know what I have which has been really good because it's really put me on a you know a tight you know stance of when and when should I make when I should buy makeup and when I should not um, when lo looking at how much makeup I had and how much product I had I couldn't believe it so there's quite a bit so I will be doing a video about that one as well so unfortunately I need to put myself on a spending ban as well so I will be doing a video on my beauty budget um, I didn't really want to do it but I didn't make it to where it was not reachable as an attainable goal. Um, I looked at how much, you know, how much I really spent in makeup and product, and I looked at how many months are in a year, and I really thought about what is the 
best option for me and I have attainable goals so no worries there but it's not going to restrict me completely so if you know what I mean so I'll be doing a, a video about that one as well then because I haven't shot um, videos for a few months the monthly ipsy bags and monthly boxy charms have been piling up well yeah they've been pretty much piling up and Unfortunately, those have not been put in my inventory, which I do need to put those in eventually here soon. But those are going to have to be filmed um, open in if you guys would like those. I'm sure you will. Um, and I'm not sure. I mean, I have a few months of them saved. I don't know if I want to continue to do them like every few months or if I do them every month. Let me know what you guys prefer. Finally, I have my empties. Oh my gosh. The last time I did an empties video was months ago, like literally months ago. And um, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff piling up that I need to like get rid of. Like my empties container has boiled over to where I had to split up my empties and my like personal like non-beauty products. And they are in two different bags so I'm going to have to do those split up. And I may actually switch those depending on how much products I have um, with within a month. I may actually do them every other month and put them together. I'm just not sure. So yeah, be prepared, be prepared to see all of the products I have saved up for the last few months. And you know, there's going to be other videos that I have not mentioned, but I will be filming for you guys as well. Um, I'll start doing my monthly favorites and I'll be start doing you know other things that I usually will do um, but I wanted to just kind of give you an idea of where I'm at what videos I have my eye on doing for you guys quality is better than quantity last year was just educational for me and I'm hoping you know by putting more effort into my videos for you guys you guys will find them more enjoyable I think I'm gonna sign off here I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't please subscribe so you can see my new videos when they do get uploaded I'm not sure of an upload schedule, if I'm going to do it once or twice a week, I don't know. Um, just let me know and I'm going to do a QA. and a so if you guys have some questions that you have for a QA, and a I had one before I have not done one on but I will do one for you guys um, and so I'll do a video on that for you guys. But if you guys have any video suggestions just let me know down below. I read every comment um, and I do generally respond to everything. So. I hope you guys have a fabulous, wonderful rest of the night or day or whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.